What's going on all you Minties? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today, I'm going to be doing an overview of the recent restock of Thor by Jason Aaron Omnibus. Volume 1. All three covers are back. So, stay tuned. And welcome back, everybody. So, all three covers are back. And before I go any further, I want to give a huge thank you to David Gabriel and the fine folks of Marvel for sending us copies of these books. Now, as of this video, you should be able to go to your comic book store, your retailer, wherever you shop, whether it's CheapGraphicNovels.com, Walt's Comic Shop, Comics Bugle, Dying Breed Collectors, Organic Price Books, IST, Tales of Wonder, DCBS, wherever it is, you should be able to get every cover as of this video. And again, you all know how fast these things go. So, speaking of fast, this book sold out so quick, so I'm really happy that Marvel decided to go ahead and give it a, not really a full reprint because it has the same ISBN, but a restock. Now, I will be comparing it to my printing right here, the first printing, see if there's any differences, whether in the paper stock or the colors or the way that the books fold over and mainly talking about the binding. So what we have here are the three covers, the Azad Ribbage cover, the Russell Dodderman cover, and the Joe Quesada cover. These two right here being the direct market covers. And of course, all three having a different spine. And I have to say, I love the Mjolnir spine right there on the standard edition cover. This one, of course, having the Goddess of Thunder and the God of Thunder right there. The back of the book so it is identical the frames from the comic book same as the first printing the retail price 125 dollars rated teen plus Let's take a quick look under the dust jackets there we go so it's the exact same image as before you do get the mjolnir picture right here underneath the dust jacket and the joe quesada book or cover back here and I'm not opening this one up. And why not? And what the hell am I going to do with three more copies of this uh, book? Or of this book, rather. Well, um, two of them are being gifted to my old reader, new reader pals. So Amazing Amanda is getting one. And Wonder Maddie is getting the other copy. So that leaves this one here. What am I going to do with it? Well, I'm going to be giving it away. Yeah. So to find out how you can enter the giveaway... Stay tuned, just keep watching. Now, I did tell Maddie and Amanda that we are going to be doing an Old Reader, New Reader on Tuesday live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's March 28th. It's when Old Reader, New Reader usually is on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I figured, hey, we might as well do a review of it, and you can hear our thoughts on that date. And that, again, is live at 8 p.m. on March 28th, and that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and crack this book open and focus on the artwork, talk a little bit about the stories. But since I've already done a big video on that, you can click on the link above to go to that video if you want to. That's more of an, not really an in-depth with spoilers, but more of a big overview. This one here will be more of a comparison between this new printing and the original printing to see if there's any differences at all. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and crack this open. So this book was originally printed in, I believe it was in April when it came out of 2022. And this is a restock. So it went out of print so quick that they decided to go ahead and bring it back out. And of course, with whenever there are restocks or reprints, the print runs aren't as big as the original one. And I, no publisher will let, ever, ever let you know how many copies exactly they're going to print. So, uh, but this one is is out again and all three covers available again i want to say the first time around the cover that sold out immediately was the this cover right here not sure about this time around i don't so maybe they printed more of that cover i, I don't know but those are still that and the joe Quesada cover are the direct market covers this book has 1216 pages and it collects thor god of thunder the 2012 series 1 through 25 Thor from 2014 when it was renumbered 1 through 4, Thor annual number 1, Thor's 1 through 4, and that's that Secret War storyline from Battle Worlds, and Mighty Thor from 2015 number 1 through 12. And it is the exact same content as the first printing as far as as far as Uncanny Omar talk pretty one day. 
As far as the extras all the way in the back, we start off with the back matter here. Like I said, this is going to be a quick overview. It's mainly going to be a comparison. But this is the afterword of Thor, God of Thunder, number 18. And the afterword of Thor, God of Thunder, number 25. You have some of the variant covers, some of the combined covers. Back here, character designs. These are as ad ribbage. And original artwork from inside of the comics whether it's inked or penciled and more character designs this time around by Russell Dodderman who went on to do War of the Realms which will be con uh, collected in its entirety in volume 2 of this omnibus I love this piece right here I think this is the piece that they had the second time around if I'm not mistaken for one of the covers and then they decided to change it again. Here's a piece from Walter Simonson right there. And some more variant covers. That Walter Simonson run reminds me that in our top 20 most wanted Marvel Omnibus reprint poll for 2023. That was the original right here. This is the cover that we're going to use for the direct market. The first when I got to announce the books. And then people were like, no, that's not even rough. Oh boy. That whole debacle. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? That Thor by Walter Simonson got voted in our top 20. And that makes me happy, Sid, that you know people still want to see these classic stories. Maybe one day they'll reprint the Heroes Return Volume 2. is the one that's out of print. But what I really want to see is more new Thor. Oh, that is an interesting cover. That's an ant size cover. Uh, Thor... By Tom DeFalco is what I want to see. I love that era of Thor. I think it's a very underrated era. And I would love to see that stuff collected. Of course I want to see uh, stuff from Roy Thomas again. But that era of Thor was just so good. I loved it. And again, just an era that not a lot of people talk about. Some more variant pieces including a wonderful piece here by Neil Adams. And some more Walter Simonson and Mark Bagley. And then this piece by Mike Deodato Jr. Then your end sheets. Now, let's look at the binding here. And then we'll compare it to the original printing. So here is the eye of the new printing. Uh, the book has 1,216 pages. And it is printed at the iMac printer where the original printing was printed at. So this is what the eye looks like. Let's look at the eye of the other cover and here's the eye of the other cover from this new batch of printings so it looks about the same now let's look at the original printing the one that was printed in 2022 and by the way i forgot to mention the this important fact without opening it up you can't really tell when it was printed uh, but when you open it up you'll be able to tell when you go all the way down here and it will state printed or manufactured right there 11 11 2022 and 123 2023 so in case you open it up i don't know how many of you buy used books and you're wondering about new printings but anyway let's take a look at the binding and the eye of the original printing from 2022 um which is weird because this is the exact same printer but this is what the eye looks like and I know for a fact, I've read this once, Melanie has read it once, and I stretched the spine out at least four times because it's got over 1,200 pages. And the eye is a lot smaller. Then again, this could just be my copy, but this is significantly smaller than the eye of the new stock that is out. So let's actually do a comparison with the paper and the way that the book lays over, especially with those spread pages. Okay, we have the original printing up at the top and the 2023 printing down here. So let's go ahead and open it up. And again, coming from the same printer, exact same end sheets right there. And it should be the same image right there of... Hmm. Okay, sorry. Um, it is the exact same image. I was just looking at the colors. It's a little bit darker down here in the new printing. But let's go ahead and get inside of the book. So it looks like it's just a tad bit darker, the color tones that they're using for the new printing. And that cat might have to do with the paper stock, but let's see. Yeah, it's just a tad bit darker down here. Let's... I want to say it feels about the same. 
the same type of paper being used. Really don't feel a difference. So let's check out some pages that you could see bleed through on. All right, so I picked a page right here that has lots of white, so I kind of figured there'd be some kind of word bubbles and things coming through from the opposite page. And it doesn't necessarily have to be white. You can see up here, whatever lighter colors they're using, sometimes you have art bleeding through from the other page. Um, but it looks about the same as far as the bleed through right here and here. Again, it's the same printer and it does feel like the same paper stock that they're using. And here's another example. I'm not sure if you can tell, but up here you can see a little bit of the word bubbles coming in from the opposite page. Same as in the original printing. So that's no different. The frame right here. And you can find the frame right here and the word bubble, word bubble. So like I said, it does feel like the same paper stock. And just to kind of give you another look at some of the bleed through. Now let's take a look at some of the spread pages here. So we're looking at an iconic spread page here and the colors looking just a little bit darker in the newer printing. Uh, but this is the way that the book lays over and it does lay over a little bit differently. You still get a little bit of gutter loss as you do up here, but it does feel like you get a little more gutter loss up here than you do down here. I mean, you still have to hold it down to get the entirety of Thor's knee down there and all of Mjolnir. But you have to do the same thing here. So, to kind of give you an idea. And of course, this is towards the beginning of the book. And the way it lays over towards the middle. So here's some spread pages from about the middle of the book. And again, there's that gutter curve, which you found in the original printing. Just a little bit better in the newer printing. And just using this page again as an example of the way the books lay over a little bit differently. Uh, the original printing there and the 2023 printing. And you can see here a lot more of Thor's face right there. You still have to hold it down, of course, to get the cheek. But over here, you can't even see her face. And that's just the way that eye is made. So that's why it's important, I always say, to stretch the spines and to make sure that you get as much eye as you can and it just surprises me that this here i've only I only stretched the spawn once because i'm giving these to amanda and maddie so huh hmm. that's pretty cool and i did switch them out by the way uh, this here was the other copy that i had now i did say something about this book right here thor that's right how can you win this copy? All you gotta be is a subscriber. In the comment section, just tell me what your favorite Thor story is. It doesn't have to be from this run, it can be from any run of Thor. And if you don't have one, let me know what Thor story you do wanna read. It could be this one. There you go, that's an easy answer. So you have to be, it's open to international waters, it doesn't matter where you're from. Uh, you can win this copy. Just, again, comment down below. I'll put, a, let's say, we'll leave it up for three days, starting today. So it'll be up until Wednesday at this time 11 30 right is that sunday to monday tuesday and wednesday yeah so wednesday at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time so after i get all those names put them into a random name picker and then i will make sure to contact that person now it will be me contacting you sometimes we get these bots coming in saying hey you've won something from telegram click here i will never ask you to click anywhere i will ask you how to get a hold of me believe me for anybody that i've given away stuff randomly you know how i do these things by now if you're watching this after Wednesday, March 15th at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, by all means, please feel free to comment, but you just can't be entered in the contest. But yes, that's all you need to do. It's just my way of saying thank you to, to all of you for watching my videos, for sharing them. Thank you all so much for just being here. All right, that, as they say, is that. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. You missed out on the book the first time around and you're interested in purchasing this restock don't forget to check out our sponsors if you're in europe and you're interested in buying these books definitely check out walt's comic shop in berlin germany they have the cheapest pre-order prices flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all eu countries emails answer within 24 hours waltzcomicshop.com and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all eu countries with your first order over 40 euros that's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding!
CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my overview and mainly a comparison to the original printing of this book. Let me know in the comments down below if you missed out on it the first time around and now you're excited to pick it up because you have a volume two coming out later this year. If you've already got it, uh, which cover you went for, and if you've read it, what you think of the story. Whether you liked it or you didn't like it, it wasn't for you, what your favorite Thor stories are and what you want to see from the Mighty Thor collected in omnibus format. Myself, I would love to see some Tom DeFalco stuff finally get some love in omnibus format. But that's it for me. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out. Check us out on Patreon and Spreadshop. Amazing ways to support the channel if you can do so. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.